Pipe up. Uh, hey, sauce him up like mellow, y'all. Bought me some heat for my waist. You can tell by my bitch and my taste. Got a nigga glue for my wrist. I dropped a zan in the mist. Caught your friends on my face. Alright, bro, what's going on? It is Stav. We back in the building one time. You know, hey, 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 get, get, get. What's happening, everybody, man? So, look, Stav back with another video. Got some part gameplay for y'all. Just some slight part gameplay. Then I'm finna just zone out into some other type stuff for y'all. But I just wanted to mainly get this commentary out because I wanted to do a 2K18 wish list. I don't think I'm too early or too late with this at all. But I just want to get out my thoughts on 2K17 and think of things that, you know, 2K18 could be improved upon. So, like, you know, feel me better here. I'm, I'm going to get into that stuff. So, uh, why not start right now, you feel me, man? Make sure you go ahead and comment down below before we even get into this. Since this is a wishlist video, let me know down in the comment section below if y'all wish for anything in 2K18. Y'all want to see anything different, see anything, you know, new, see the same things, anything. Just let me know what you want to see in 2K18 because there are many things and many ideas that people could come up with. And it's honestly uh, crazy ideas and crazy things I want to agree on. Like, I've seen other wish lists and whatnot back in the days, 2K16 and 17. And people was like, dang, really putting some good stuff out there. Really putting some good ideas that 2K could improve on with that shit. So, look. Let's get into this wish list, man. So I want to start off with the basic things right now. First and foremost, right off the bat, nigga, pro am, uh, pro am and park on this part. So look, if you got a player, and I realize not everybody can have break starter. You feel me? I mean, like, not everybody can have fucking break starter. You know, platinum and shit, whatever it's called, fucking hall of fame and shit. I said platinum, but look, not everybody can have break starter, hall of fame and whatnot. But look, the fact that some people, you know, people can have break starter and shit. Let that shit work, my niggas. So, like, 2K, y'all mess up with the fact that y'all be throwing, y'all got our players, you know, we got a good passing accuracy, you know, you know, all this stuff, good, you know, good playmaking and shit. And we be throwing the ball out of bounds still on the down court. Like, we are not, we not, we not playing like LaMelo, you feel me? We not playing like him. We not playing like him on the court. And we need to be playing like LaMelo Ball. We need to be playing like Chino Hills, you feel me? But look. 2k they could give people a break start and shit we'll still be throwing the ball out of bounds so this is something they honestly need to fix before 2k 18 even comes out this is something that should have been fixed you know fucking at the start of 2k 17 they throwing this shit and these animations where we be throwing the ball like it's a fucking touchdown tony romo type pass shit and it's like uh fuck like what are we doing dude what are we doing playing football on 2k like we throwing the shit out of bounds and whatnot and it's like we got a strong arm and like what the fuck they it's no mutant mega monster niggas we playing with but look we need to like you know make sure y'all fix that man before we even get into 2k 18 make sure y'all go ahead and fix that passing accuracy because we can have 90 passing accuracy playmakers and we'll still throw that ball alabama out of oh i said alabama Alabama here that we still throw that ball out of bounds and stuff on like fucking fast break plays and shit and that's the crazy thing about it man the passing accuracy what you have what archetype you want and whatnot and you'll still throw that bitch out of bounds and it's like it's crazy and again again everybody not everybody can have break starter like that but we could still i realize people could have break starter and still throw the ball out of bounds so it's like that badge is pointless to be honest that badge is really pointless like when you be throwing that ball down court yep that stuff going out of bounds man you feel me so make sure y'all go ahead and fix that that's a huge problem in the pro-am in the park that's really one thing i wanted to get off my chest when it comes to pro-am and park i don't really see too many problems with pro-am and park uh with the fact that you know we getting our repping and whatnot we getting our vc so that's cool that's cool uh i haven't been at the stage at all i haven't been to the stage at all i need to start going to the stage you know racking up some vc so i need to do that but stage is a good idea that they've kept since like 2k 15 for i don't know but it's a good idea so they need to keep in the stage you know in order you know wager your shit so you know people be out here you know getting avc and whatnot so let's keep stage uh pro am and park is at good hands right now it's in good condition so i don't want to I don't really want to say anything too bad about it, but you know about my players and whatnot. Better style, uh, better hairstyles. We kept the same hairstyles, honestly. We kept the same hairstyles from 2K16, and it's not something that I like. I thought I would expect they throw in. Okay, look, 
when 2K16 was out and we was waiting for 2K17, they threw out some uh, fucking, they threw out some information to us saying that, you know, uh, 2K17 is going to be like a thousand new animations and whatnot, a thousand new dribble moves and, uh, you know, hesitations and layup habits, like all that shit. All these animations they could have thrown out. They so focused on doing motion capture animations, which is cool. That is what, you know, brings together the game, the motion capture of uh, the players. You know, you got to have the players. You got to have the animations or else they'll end up looking like some fucking NBA Live 07 and stuff. But, no, nah, it really is, like, they have the audacity to put out, like, thousands of new animations, which is pretty cool. New dunk packages, alley dunk packages, contact dunks, and all this stuff. And it's like... Man, y'all had it right on the spot with these animations, but you couldn't just add in. You couldn't just add in a tad bit more hairstyles, you feel me? New hairstyles. Like, y'all could have added in a thigh cut, for real, for real, like some Nick Young type stuff. And, uh, you know, there is some hairstyles that are slightly like Nick Young's right now or something like that. But, like, feel me, man, it's not exactly on point, you know. So, it's like, they could have added in a little bit more. Uh, they could have added in the Julius uh, Irvin Afro, all this stuff, all these haircuts that players have in the fucking game. They don't add in. You could, you know, make sure you add in like spray. You could spray paint your hair some uh, dye apart in there or something like that, like some Wiz Khalifa, oh, 08 Wiz Khalifa type stuff. So you feel me? It's like they could have just added in. They could have so many ideas like that, which makes the game better. Cause I'll go on NBA Live, uh, the last NBA Live that came out, man. The last NBA Live, uh, I want to say 16. Uh, I'll go on there, and there'll be some cool-ass haircuts, and the shoes look better on there. So it's like, dang, NBA Live really stacking up with these, uh, how it looks, like graphically, how they make the shoes and whatnot. They got the laces sticking out and whatnot. They got these new hairstyles that look way better on 2K17. But the gameplay just ain't, it's just shit. So it's like, 2K17, y'all could be on that level. Y'all already beat an NBA Live by a, le by a mountain. But, like, y'all gotta, you know, add in these little extras for me, you know, feel me? Add in these tad bit extras, you feel me? Like, the hairstyles and whatnot. They did good with the tattoos, just add in. I'll just say add in a few more tattoos, like, uh, make it easier. Like, at least add in, like, a little preset sleeve, because I don't feel like piecing all the pieces together to make my... Pe fucking texting me. Uh, piecing all the pieces together to make a sleeve, you feel me? So, it's like, just add in the preset sleeve and whatnot. I already know there's, like, one preset sleeve. That you can make it's like the cali text one and whatnot but like you know just a just make the sleeve look real i mean like it is creative in a way to piece together your own things and i don't blame the game for that but it's like dang i wish i had me a little preset sleeve to put on so i don't have to take all the time you know resizing and this stuff so yeah tattoos hairstyles you know that could be fixed up a little bit uh with that being said there's nothing much else to it but i want to speak on my career because i want to speak on uh there is a problem with my career that I want to say and a, a good idea that I want to bring into this. So with my career, it would be very great if everybody could be everybody. I'm talking about everybody, the whole 2K community, every single my career player you can make can have every single badge at Hall of Fame. If they continue this idea and, you know, if they just continue this idea of having Hall of Fame, gold, silver badges and whatnot, at least let us have every single badge and be able to make it Hall of Fame. You feel me? So just give us, you know, okay, we got these five start off badges and whatnot. That's, you know, if you're a slasher, you got posterizing and all this stuff. You got acrobat and stuff. Okay, you can make that stuff Hall of Fame. But be able to make something else Hall of Fame too, like mid range dead art or something like that. Like at least give us other badges we can make Hall of Fame. Brick wall, you know, everybody. With this being said, everybody has the freedom to do anything they want with their player, man. They have the absolute creativity of their player, how they want their player to be. We're limited. We're very, very limited right now in 2K17. We have a limited amount of badges, of uh, Hall of Fame badges we can make. We're only up to five. And it's just like, let us have the creativity and freedom of our player to make them how we want it to. Like, that way, nobody's ever going to be overpowered because everybody's given the freedom to be at that same type of level if they got every single badge and want to make a Hall of Fame themselves. Put it in the VC to make those badges that type of level, you know, Hall of Fame level and whatnot, and gold level and all that. So it's just like, man, I don't really like the fact that we're only limited down to five badges to make Hall of Fame. I just wish that we can make any single badge we want to make Hall of Fame. You know, like, of course, microwave, those are going to be the mentality and play style badges and whatnot that's gonna have the head and gears and whatnot but it's like yeah all that can stay the same but it's like 
dang, let me make Acrobat and Brick Wall and, you know, name another one. Limitless Range, Hall of Fame, all at the same time. Like, let me have all these badges. I could have a choice of making gold or Hall of Fame. Like, just give me that choice, you feel me? So, that would be a great thing. That's really all I wanted to say about my wish list, dude. And I didn't want to make this wish list too, too long, but I'm just going to keep it down to about like, yeah, it's been 10 minutes right now. So that's where I'm going to leave it off with. Again, make sure y'all leave down a comment below to tell me what y'all wish for. Anything new, different, y'all want to keep the same, anything y'all disagree with. I'll, I'll, shit, start an argument with me, my nigga. Start an argument with me on this video. So I want to see what y'all agree and disagree with. So make sure you go ahead and do that if y'all feel like, you know, if y'all feeling in the mood and whatnot to do a wish list as well. And uh, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, just subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, man. So make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video. It's, uh, it's Steph, my nigga. And I'm finna head on out of here, man.